Hey, what up, yo? It's your token black friend, AJ the Legend. Hey, so I don't know if y'all have heard, but there is a woman out of Florida who is suing Kraft, yes, Kraft, like macaroni and cheese, for $5 million stating that the Velveeta shells and cheese, you'll have to excuse me because I'm looking down at this, take longer to prepare than packaging claims, than the packaging claims. So, I decided, let's check this out. So, I went out to Target and bought myself some of the Velveeta shells and cheese, which on the packaging, it does say, ready in three and a half minutes. Okay, in the lawsuit, and I'm reading this from an article, show you guys, hope you can see that, from NBC News, but basically the complaint is, is that it to provide consumers with a product that is actually ready in three and a half minutes the product would need to be cooked in the microwave for less than three and a half minutes so that all the preparation steps could be completed in the three and a half minute time frame reads the lawsuit filed in u.s district court for southern florida the suit lists the mac and cheese five instructions that appear on the product packaging from removing the lid, adding water, microwaving it, and then stirring in a powdered cheese sauce into the resulting cooked pasta. Now, here's the kicker. What the plaintiff focuses on is the fifth instruction, quote, cheese sauce will thicken upon standing, end quote saying that constitutes a longer, quote, ready, end quote, time than the packaging claims. Consumers seeing ready in three and a half minutes will believe it represents the total amount of time it takes to prepare the product, the suit reads. However, the directions outlined above show that three and a half minutes is just the length of time to complete one of several steps. The label does not state the product takes three and a half minutes to cook in the microwave, which would have been true. Now, to their credit, Kraft Heinz has said in a statement, we are aware of this frivolous lawsuit and will strongly defend against the allegations in this complaint. All right. I won't read the rest of this. You guys can check it out online. However, I found it asinine when I read this last night, and it bothered my black ass so much. I went on my phone in bed and made a Target order for a box of this Velveeta shells and cheese, all right? Because I need to see it for myself. So, we're going to test this. So, I have my cup out. Just, uh, just for reference, I did heat up my water already in my tea maker. So, my water is warm. And I just want to show you guys on here. Here are the instructions which state, one, remove lid and cheese sauce pouch. Okay. Two, add water to the fill line in the cup and stir. There's a warning. Help prevent risk of fire. Add water to fill line. Do not leave microwave unattended. All right. Number three, the microwave. Microwave uncovered on high three and a half minutes. Do not drain. Four, stir in contents of cheese sauce pouch. So... I'm about to set a timer right now to see how long this actually takes. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. Go up to my stove. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this for 10 minutes. So just remember, once I start this, 10 minutes, we're going. And we're going. All right. Now, set this back down. Let's go back on my black ass. Okay, follow the instructions. Remove, lift, lid, cheese, and sauce pouch. So, okay, that's removed. There's the cheese sauce pouch. Number two, add water to the fill line. Let me grab my water. All right, here is my tea kettle, Hamilton Beach. We love it. Anyway, let's pour it to the fill line per instructions all right I am at the fill line next microwave uncovered on high three and a half minutes do not drain 
All right, we're going in the microwave. We'll show you guys in there. And we will do three, three, oh. Right? Start. All right, you guys don't have to watch the microwave the whole time, but I will. During this, let's go back to that article because I find this a frivolous ass lawsuit, as the company said. It's ridiculous. This woman in Florida, of course, of all places, Florida, right, needs to get a life, okay? If you spend that much time coming up with schemes to make $5 million or any amount of money off some, let's just be honest, bullshit, take that energy and put it somewhere else, yo, okay? Put it into coming up with some better ideas for uh, a business or maybe other companies that may hire you and say, you know, that's a good idea. But nope, we have to deal with people who literally are just looking to make a quick buck and is ruining our society. But what else is new? So while I'm waiting on this also, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my cheese pouch so I can just open it up. I'm assuming that. That's something you would do, not wait for your uh, macaroni to be finished cooking, but let's go ahead and cut that. Boom. All right, cheese pouch is open. So once that comes out, we can uh, mix it up in the, ex uh, in the little pouch. Looking at these other instructions on here. Here we go, yep, they even have it on the uh, box. Stir, okay, blend, thick, okay. It says also on here, note, starch blend in cup reduces risk of boil over and thickens sauce. Cheese sauce will thicken upon standing. Do not reuse the cup. All right, so we got another minute and a half to go on this. And looking at my timer up here, we are now at six minutes left on that 10 minute timer that I said. Six minutes and 40 sec 30 seconds to be exact. So we are over the three and a half minute mark, which is her complaint. But is it that much over that she should get $5 million? Or that they should have to make some type of drastic changes to the packaging? Huh. You can uh, come to that conclusion yourself, but we're still going. 40 second, 45 seconds as a now left. We'll take it out and uh, stir in that cheese sauce. I have my fork out, ready to go. I hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas music in the background. And of course, I hope you love the Christmas sweater. You know, I'm a nerd, marbled out. And of course, Black Panther recently released, so... Wakanda forever, yo. Always. Rest in peace, brother. All right. 15 seconds left. And five minutes and 30 seconds left. 10. All right, here we go. You'll hear the ding. All right, let's take her out. Here's my cup. Let's mix in that cheese sauce. There that is. Woo! Low key, I love me some liquid gold. All right. Got it all squeezed in there. And now, let's uh, get to stirring. Now, obviously, each person is going to stir at a different rate. <laughs> it's not like somebody's going to stir the same. Some people are stir crazy, and some people just throw it in, let it sit a little bit, stir two times, and be done. Me, I like to get it all up in there. So, fold in the cheese. <laughs> yes, says <laughs> Myra said, fold in the cheese, and David. Ooh, David. All right. I now have it. 
So it says that I can let it sit now. But to be fair, it I'm looking at it now. Y'all can see it yourselves. And it's three minutes and 50 seconds. I'll say three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. So I could either let this sit for as long as I deem. But to be fair, I think it's done. So the part of letting it sit in my book is inaccurate. I mean, do you guys think that needs to sit? No, it looks gooey and cheesy and doesn't look runny or anything like that. Looks delicious. Taste the bite. Mmm. Needs a little salt, pepper. But it's not overly hot. I feel like if I let it sit for another two minutes, it's going to be cooled off to the point to where it's almost cold. To be honest, I like my mac and cheese hot. So, anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. This is your token black friend, AJ the Legend. And that was the Velveeta Craft macaroni and cheese test for the idiot woman who is filing a lawsuit get something better to do honey and get some better friends and if you are her friends and you're supporting her on this you need to find another friend all right yo i'm out token black friend aj the legend cheers yo